Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. This is Virtuous Women in Christ Ministry. This is our Sunday service. May the Lord bless you for joining us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord for keeping us alive. We bless Almighty God. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy for counting on for giving us the life to live again, for counting us among the living. We are grateful to our Father, Almighty God. Amen. Amen. Shall we have a word of prayer? Oh, Heavenly Father, you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be worshipped. You are worthy to be adored. You are worthy to be magnified. And I will thank you for this hour, this moment. We thank you for this Sunday service right now for us to come and worship you. And though you sit at your feet, Almighty God, we are so grateful. We are so thankful. Lord, we are no better than the one that went to bed. They couldn't they are going to wake up this morning, Almighty God, Father, Almighty God, just your grace, Almighty God, that you have mercy and grace you woke us up, Almighty God. We are grateful, we are thankful, Lord. Thank you for each and every one of us, our families, our Father. We bless your holy name, Jesus. And Father, as we want to say the service right now, come and have your way, Lord. In the name of your Holy Spirit, oh God, fill us afresh and help us to worship our Father in the spirit and the truth. Holy Spirit, oh God, help us to understand when the word of God is coming. We commit everything to your power from, from the beginning to the end, your Holy Spirit, oh God, tip perfect control. Let the name of the Lord in Lord be glorified in Jesus mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me my very soul we shout hallelujah Praise the Lord for saving me. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me, my very soul we shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord for saving me. When I think of the goodness of Jesus, and all he has done for me, my very soul, we shout hallelujah, praise the Lord for saving me. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me, my very soul, we shout hallelujah, praise the Lord for saving me. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me, my very soul, we shout hallelujah, praise the Lord for saving me. When I think Think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me. My very soul, we shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord for saving me. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me. My very soul, we shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord for saving me. When I think of the goodness goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me. My very soul, we shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord for saving me. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me. My very soul, we shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord for saving me. When I think of the goodness of Jesus, all he has done for me, my very soul, we shout hallelujah, praise the Lord for saving me, amen, amen, blessings and glory, wisdom, thanksgiving, so oh, no. power and might belong to the Lord forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. Blessings and glory, wisdom, thanksgiving, so oh, no. power and might belong to the Lord forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. Blessings and glory, wisdom, thanksgiving, so I know. Power and 
belong to my Lord forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. Blessings and glory, wisdom, thanks, even so long. Power and might belong to my Lord forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. Blessings and glory, wisdom, thanks, even so Power and might belong to the Lord forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. Blessings and glory, wisdom, thanksgiving, so on. Power and might belong to my Lord forever and ever. Amen. Everlasting Father, everlasting Son, immortal Holy Ghost, be the glory for Oh, everlasting Father, everlasting Son, immortal Holy Ghost, be the glory for Everlasting Father, Father, everlasting Son, immortal Holy Ghost, be the glory for Oh, everlasting Father, everlasting Son, immortal Holy Ghost, be the Glorify everlasting Father, everlasting Son, immortal Holy Ghost, we da glorify. Oh, everlasting Father, everlasting Son, immortal Holy Ghost, we da glorify. Everlasting Father, everlasting Son, immortal Holy Ghost, we da glorify. Oh, everlasting Father, everlasting Son, immortal. Holy Ghost, be the glorified, be the exalted, be the magnified, be the glorified. Everlasting Father, oh, everlasting Father, everlasting Son, immortal Holy Ghost, be the glorified. Oh, everlasting Father, everlasting Son, immortal Holy Ghost, be the glorified, be the exalted, be the magnified. Be the glorified everlasting Father, O oh, everlasting Father, Father, everlasting Son, immortal Holy Ghost, be the glorified, O oh, everlasting Father, Father, everlasting Son, immortal Holy Ghost, be the glorified, be the exalted, be the magnified, be the glorified everlasting Father, everlasting Father, Father, everlasting. Everlasting Son, immortal Holy Ghost, we da glorify. Oh, everlasting Father, everlasting Son, immortal Holy Ghost, we da glorify. Every living soul, every living soul, praise the Lord. Every living soul, every living soul, praise the Lord. Every living soul, every living soul, praise the Lord. Every living soul, every living soul, praise the Lord. Every living soul, every living soul, praise the Lord. Every living soul, every living soul, praise the Lord. Every living soul, every living soul, praise the Lord. Every living soul, every living soul. So praise the Lord, the most serenity, the most serenity, the most serenity in my life today. The most serenity, the most serenity, the most serenity in my life today. The most serenity, the most serenity, the most serenity in my life today. The most serenity, the most serenity, the most serenity in my life today. Every living soul, every living soul, praise the Lord. Every living soul, every living soul, praise the Lord. Every living soul, every living soul, praise the Lord. Every living soul, every living soul, praise the Lord. Every living soul, every living soul, praise the Lord. Every living soul, every living soul, praise the Lord. Then we the most serenity in our lives today. 
Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We thank God for our Father, our Savior, our Redeemer. It rain it, it rain it, it rain it. We are going to start our prayer right now, opening prayer. May the Lord bless you or join us in this opening prayer right now. Let us begin to thank God. He is worthy, He is mighty. He done so much for you and I, for us. So another, another brand new week, another brand new Sunday. And we thank God for God. Let us pray in Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father, oh Lord, my God, as we come to you, Eternal we Father, so Papa, nous te bénissons, nous te louons, nous te exaltons, nous célébrons ton Saint, nous te disons grandement, merci Seigneur. Papa, pour cette nouvelle journée que tu as permis que nous voyions nos enfants, nos époux, nos membres de famille, Papa, merci Seigneur pour ta confession que tu te partages à travers ces nouvelles guerres et même depuis ce matin. Merci Seigneur pour ta vie et ta bonté. Merci Seigneur pour ton amour si immense envers nous. Merci pour ta grandeur, ta puissance dans nos vies. Merci Seigneur pour ton sang précieux. Merci Seigneur pour ton sang précieux. Merci Seigneur pour ton sang précieux. Merci Seigneur pour ton sang Merci pour nous avoir révélé ta vérité. Merci pour ton salut dans ta vie. Papa, je te dis, 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 je me joue à lui. Je m'avance et les cartes lui ont fait les 24 vies. Pour ta douleur, pour ton vie, car digne, digne, to humble ourselves before mighty God. We are going to ask God to forgive us in any way that we are sinned against almighty God. Let us ask God for mercy. Let us pray. Oh Lord, Lord, my Father, Lord, my God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, Father, we are asking for your mercy, Lord, in any way that we are sinned against you, Lord, we ask you for your mercy, Father, mighty God, we ask you for your mercy, we ask you for your mercy, almighty God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, Father, we ask you for your mercy, Lord, 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 we 
We are going to plead the blood of Jesus, man. Let us uh, plead the blood of Jesus, man, on, on us and this service right now. Let us begin to plead the blood of Jesus, man. Oh, Lord, my Father, oh, Lord, my God. God. We thank you for the precious blood, blood of Jesus, man, my Father, my Lord, the blood of Jesus, man, that will share for the remission of our sins. And I will plead your precious blood of Jesus, my Father. I plead the blood of Jesus, man. I plead the blood of Jesus, my oh, Lord. And I plead the blood of Jesus, my my husband, my children, my family, my in laws so Father, my grandchildren, Father. We plead the blood of Jesus, each and every one of us. This ministry, we plead the blood of just and the body of God. We plead the blood of the church of God and our family members. So, Lord, we thank you for the precious blood of Jesus, my Father, my Lord. We plead the blood of Jesus, 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 my Lord. Precious blood of Jesus, man. The blood of Jesus, man, that was shed for the remission of our sin, Father. We are so grateful. We are so thankful, Lord. Thank you for your precious blood, oh Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you for the precious blood of Jesus, man. We are grateful. We are thankful, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb God. We thank God for the blood of Jesus Christ. Let us welcome our sweet Holy Spirit. With that Holy Spirit, we cannot do nothing. He is our teacher. He is our comfort, our intercessor. Let us welcome in our ministry and our hand over everything that will be done in this ministry today. Let him take perfect control. Let us pray. Holy oh, sweet Holy Spirit, Spirit of God, we, we, we reference you. We welcome you, Holy Spirit of God. We welcome in this service right now. We welcome in this ministry. Holy Spirit of God, we welcome you in each other. Every one of us in our lives, Lord Father, come and have your way, come and have your way about with us, Holy God. Without you, we can do nothing. Come and have your way, Holy Spirit of God. Come and have your way, the name of Jesus. Come and be about with the Holy Spirit of God. We need you, we need you, we need your lady. Come and have your way and help us to worship our Father in the spirit and the strength of the Holy Spirit of God. Please, that they come and have your way. We depend on you, sweet Holy Spirit of God, as we gather right now in the presence of you, Almighty God. Come and have your we are help us, O oh Lord, to worship oh, our Father in the Spirit and the truth, Holy Spirit of God. As the word of the Lord, we come forth, Holy Spirit of God, help us, O oh Lord, to understand the word of the Lord. So the word of the Lord in our heart, breathe upon our hearts, Holy Spirit of God, breathe upon our hearts, breathe upon our hearts, heart, to, to see to see the truth, to understand the truth and the word of God. Holy Spirit of God, we welcome you. We cannot do without you. Come and have your will. Lead us, Holy Spirit of God. Guide us, Holy Spirit of God. We are good. Pray, pray for us, Holy Spirit of God. We depend on you, we rely on you. Come and have you, Holy Spirit of God. We welcome in our mercy. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. We are going to pray. We are thank God for the Holy Spirit. We bless the name of the Lord. So right now, let us put on the whole among God according to the word of the Lord in the book of uh, in the book of Ephesians uh, six seven. Uh, book of Ephesians chapter six uh, verse. Uh, Verse 11, the word of the Lord says to you and I, we should put on the whole among God so that you and I will be able to stand against the words of the devil. That is the word of the Lord. Let us begin to put on the whole among God right now. Cover ourselves with the whole among God. Let us pray. Oh Lord, my Father, oh Lord, my God, in the name of Jesus, now we thank you for your whole among. We put on your whole among God right now. In the name of your Father, we put on the whole among God. In the name of your put on the whole among God, my Father, my husband, my children, my household, oh Father. I feel the whole among God cover my house, oh Lord, Father. We choose the who am going to cover this ministry and I cover each and every one of us, O oh Lord. We put on the who am I going to protect our might, to protect our heart, to protect our spirit, O my God. O Lord, we put on your who am I God, armor of protection to protect us in the name of Jesus, my my Father. We put on your who am I God, O Lord, to protect us in the name of Jesus, my my Father, my Lord. We put on your who am I God, we put on your who am I Lord, armor God of protection, Father. We put on your who am I God right now in Jesus, my. Mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. Also, great Father. Also, great Father. So, as Father God says to you and I in the book of uh, Isaiah, the book of Isaiah 54, verse 50, he said that they shall surely gather. 
The gather is not of God. If the gather is not of God, the day that gather against you, they shall fall for your sin. That is the word of the Lord. We are going to ask for the God of whosoever that gather against us, Lord, as they gather, let them fall for our sake in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Eternal. Oh Lord, my Father, oh Lord, my God, we are asking you, Lord, Father, whosoever that gather against us, Lord, as they gather, Father, let them fall for our sake in the name of Jesus, Christ, my Father. Father, let them fall and scatter. Let them fall and scatter, oh Lord, as they gather against us, oh my God, let them fall and scatter in the name of Jesus. Jesus, my, my Father, my Lord, whosoever that God against us, O Lord, Father, let this power fall for our sake in the name of Jesus, my, my Father, my Lord, whosoever that God against us, O Lord, Father, let them fall for our sake in the name of Jesus, my, my Father, my Lord, whosoever that God against us, O Lord, let them fall, let them fall, let them fall and scatter in the name of Jesus Christ. As they gather, Father, scattered, as they gather, Father, go scattered, whosoever that God against us, O Lord, Father, as they gather, Father, scattered, O Lord Jesus, Father, and the King of Glory, scattered. As they gather, Father, for straight and for straight, they are planted in the name of Jesus. And I go scattered, oh Lord Jesus, matter, oh Lord Jesus, matter. As they gather, Father, scattered, as they gather, Father, scattered, the Father, scattered, the Father, we ask you, Father, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. So we are going to pray for the message and the messenger. And we are going to pray for the servant of God whom he with you to, to minister to us today. For, for God to fill his servant with a, with a more anointing, more power, not a more anointing to declare the, the gospel of Christ boldly in the name of Jesus. Now to help his servant, so let us pray in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, my Father, oh Lord, my God, in the name of Jesus, my Father, we bring your servant to you, the message and the messenger. And and for you to take perfect control over your daughter, your daughter, Lord, over your servant, and I empower your servant to preach your good news, oh my God, and I'm more, more fresh and not in a bond of your servant, oh Lord, Father, give her the spirit of God, oh Lord, to preach it. The gospel of Christ, the body, oh my God, in the name of Jesus, I empower her, oh Lord, more than not in fresh and not in upon your daughter, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, you are mightly as never before, Lord, put your word in her mouth, oh Lord, Father, anoint her voice, anoint her witness, so Lord, to deliver your word, oh my God. Don't let her forget any, any word that you want us to hear, Father. Don't let her forget it, oh Lord. Father, speak through her to us in the name of Jesus Christ. Use her mouth to be the mouth of all the oracles that we will use the oracle that you will use to minister to us, Father. We ask you, Father, speak through her, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, my, my Father, my Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. We are going to commit the service unto the hand of the Lord. We are going to ask Father God this service as we are starting the service. Father, come and have your way in the name of Jesus and let your name alone be glorified. Help us to worship you in the spirit and the spirit. And speak to us when it is time for us to hear your word. And I speak to us. Let us pray. Oh Lord, my Father, we hand over the service unto your hand from the beginning to the end. Oh Lord, Father, have your way, Almighty oh, God. Abide, oh Lord, Father. Help us to worship you in the spirit and the truth, Almighty oh, God. And I let your name alone be glorified. Father, Lord, help us to glorify you, help us to honor you, help us to worship you in the name of Jesus, Christ, my Father, my Lord, and let every flesh die in us, so Lord, Father, mighty God, help us, so Lord, fill us with your Holy Spirit that we help us to worship you in the Spirit and the truth, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, we commit a service unto you, Father, Father, speak to Lord, when your message is coming, Father, speak to each and every one of us, so Lord, give, it, give us the understanding of your work, Father, we ask you, Lord, take perfect control over the service today, Father, we ask you, Father, in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Oh, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, Christ, we give you all the glory, the honor, the praise, Father. We take authority over every spirit of distraction, every spirit of us minded that want to steal your word away from us. We take authority over with them. We bound them. We cast them out. We command them to go back to where they came from and remain bound there in the name of Jesus. Now, Father, my Lord, send your angels, O Lord, to encamp around about each and every one of us, O Lord, our follower on the wall, your daughter, your sons, your daughter, in this forum, Almighty God, and our guide us and protect protect us, O Lord, speak to us, O Lord, Father, fresh anointing upon us as we come in your, as we come in your presence, O Lord, Father, don't let us go empty-handed, bless each and every one of us, O my God, we ask in Jesus, we come and have your will, Lord, in the name of Jesus, my Father, we open this service right now, in the name of Jesus, my time, thank you, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed, amen, hallelujah, we bless the name of the Lord, amen, we thank God for the opening prayer, so, right now we are here to worship our father 
Please uh, join us to worship our Father in the uh, praise and worship. As the praise and worship is going, going on, please join us wherever you are. Join us to worship our maker. That is why I created you and I to be a worshiper of him, not to worship ourselves, not to worship any man, but to worship our creator, our savior, our redeemer. Please join us to worship our Father, to praise him in this praise and worship right here in this session. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. I will welcome the servant of God for the praise and the worship. Evangelist John, may the Lord bless you, man. You are muted, man. Amen. God bless you. God bless you, all my sisters. Today is another wonderful day that the Lord make it possible for us again to meet, for us to be together. We want to thank God greatly in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father God, we want to thank you for being God over our life. We thank you for your working promises in our life, O oh Lord. We thank you for those things only you can do, my Father, my God. Blessed be the holy name, O oh Father, in the name of Jesus. My Lord, we commit this time unto you. We pray, Lord, that may you glorify yourself. Accept our praise, accept our worship in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Anytime I think I know the breaking of the day, I will praise your name, Jehovah. Anytime I see another breaking of the day, I will praise your name, praising Jehovah. Anytime I see another breaking of the day, I will praise your name, Jehovah. Anytime I see another breaking of the day, I will praise your name, praising Jehovah. Anytime I see another breaking of the day, oh, I will praise your name, Jehovah. Anytime I see another breaking of the day, I will praise your name. I will praise your name, Jehovah. Lift him higher every day. Are you are my God, you are my every. I will praise your name. I will praise your name, ready man. Live to higher every day. For you are my God, you are my everything. I will praise your name, praising Jehovah. Anytime I see another breaking of the day, I will praise your name, Jehovah. Anytime I see another breaking of the day, I will praise your name. Anytime I see another breaking of the day, I will praise your name, Jehovah. Anytime I see another breaking of the day, I will praise your name, praise Jehovah. Anytime I see another breaking of the day, I will praise your name, Jehovah. Anytime I see another breaking of the day. I will praise your name. I will praise your name. I live to higher every You are my God. You are my everything. I will praise your name. I will praise your name. I live to higher every day. You are my God, you are my everything. I will praise your name. No matter what they do, he never even lied to me. No matter what they do, he never 
We praise you and praise you and praise you. We praise you. We praise you. We praise you. We praise you for your goodness. We praise you. We praise you. We praise you. We praise you for your goodness. We praise you. Lord, we praise you. Oh yes, Lord, we praise you. We praise you for your faithfulness. We praise you. And we praise you. Oh Lord, we praise you. We praise you for your compassion. We praise you for your mercy, Lord. We praise you. We praise you. We praise you for your power. We praise you. We praise you. We praise you. We praise you for your love. We praise you. In the mountains, down the valley, in the hills. And on the seas, on the mountains, on the valleys, in the fields, in the air, and in the fields. The Lord is your portion to the land of the fields, by God and truth. Forevermore, the Lord is your portion to the land of the fields, by God and truth. Forevermore, I God's portion. That we use as a forevermore. Yes, I got it. I put you in the land of the city as a forevermore. Bendo, eh, bendo, 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 and to what God can do. Bendo, 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 my sister, bendo, and to what God can do. And oh, and oh, and oh, and oh, oh, yes, I will bend oh, and see what you love to do. And oh, 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 it's not my money. It's not my money. The thing that Jesus do up for us for our money. The thing that Jesus do up for your money can you buy. It's not our money. It's not our money. The thing that Jesus do up for us for our money. The thing that Jesus do up for our money can you buy. The money can you buy. The money can you buy. The thing that Jesus give us to the money can you buy. The thing that Jesus do up for us, no man can buy. It's not our money, never our money. The thing that Jesus be up for you, us no man can buy. The thing that Jesus be up for us, not our money. He gives us life, He gives us strength. The thing that Jesus be up for you, not our money. The thing that Jesus do up for us, not our money. He gives us bread. He cares for us. Don't think that Jesus do us for us. Our money cannot buy. Don't think that Jesus do us for us. Our money cannot buy. Yes, it's not our money. It's not our money. It's not our money. Our money cannot buy. Our money cannot pay for. The thing that Jesus do us for us only cannot buy. The thing that Jesus do us for us money do not buy. It's been hard. Hey, it's been fun. It is just all. And so I just can't stop. I don't know. We just can't stop. We can't just. Let our feet open the sunny road. He said, our feet open the sunny road. Jesus is sending us to walk around. Jesus is sending us to walk around. Sending us to walk around. And he will do it for us. He will do it for us. He will do it for us. 
Are you would do it for us? Are you would do it for us? My God is a good God. Yeah, it is. Jehovah is a good God. Yeah, it is. And the God is a good God. Yeah, it is. I don't know how you say good God. Yeah, it is. We live in us. Empty Arab, I give us empty Arab. Set my feet open the sunny rock. Set my feet open the sunny rock. Ready to set my feet open the sunny rock. What can my belly do? What can my belly do? Let's on my belly feet for us. What a marvelous God, what a marvelous, he's yet to do marvelous things again. What a marvelous God, what a mighty of us, he has done marvelous things for us. Oh, what a marvelous God, what a marvelous, he's yet to do marvelous things again. They think of impossible. What a father could not do. What a mother could not do. Those are the things he has done for us. He's a reliable God. A reliable father. He would do it again and again. Hallelujah. What a mother of God. What a mother of God. He has done mother of things for us. Mother of God, Father. What a mother of God. What a mother of God. He's here to do my very things again. Father, I'm to you away. Be on the glory, 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 glory. Be on the honor, honor. Be on the glory, Lord. I'm not a return forevermore. Be on the glory, glory. Be on the honor, honor. Be on the glory, honor. Another chance for evermore. Wonder, 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 Yes, we will cry unto you, for our heart is full of grace. We that is why I stand up. That is why I am the child. We must yes, we are my child. Oh no, I tell you, my friend, from the deep of the earth. Love and my heart is okay. Oh, Father, lead me to death. That is higher than that. 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 If I had an axe, that is 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 I had an it 
that is
Heaven declares the glory of the risen God. And who can be compared, Lord, with the beauty of the Lord our God? Forever you will be, oh Lord, the Lamb upon the throne. Father, a glaring bars money, Jehovah me to worship you alone. To worship you alone, oh, and the Lord proclaim. La venue du ressuscité, il est le roi parmi tous les rois du monde. À jamais tu seras, à jamais tu seras la noce sur le trône, la noce sur le trône. Et content de ma genoue, content de ma genoue, pour t'adorer toi seul. Pour t'adorer toi seul. Seigneur Jésus, pour t'adorer toi seul, Yahweh, Yahweh, bon roi, pour t'adorer toi seul, out of my belly, shall flow rivers, the rivers of living water, yeah, yeah, yeah. Out of my belly shall flow a river, the rivers of living water. Out of my belly shall flow. The river, the rivers of living water, ia ia o o hey ya ya hey ya ya hey ya ya hey ya 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 we hey 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 Out of my belly shall flow a river, the rivers of living water. Yeah, 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 yeah. Out of my belly shall flow a river, the rivers of living water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out of my belly shall flow a river, the river of living water. Hey, yeah, 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 hey, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. From the rising of the sun, oh yes, Lord, zibro se kali dere bashaka to the setting of the sun. Your name is to be hallowed, Adonai. 
From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same, your name is to be hallowed. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same, your name is to be hallowed. Ha do not sing a do your name is to be exalted, O oh Lord. Your name is to be hallowed, O oh Lord. Your name is to be lifted up, O oh Lord. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the very sun, Father. Your name is to be glorified, my Father and my God. Father, we want to thank you, Lord. We want to exalt your holy name. We want to worship you, Lord. We worship you for being God. We worship you for being great. For there is no one like you, Father. For there is no one bear you my rock and my king. Thank you, Lord, for being our maker. Thank you for visiting us. Thank you for being with us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, faithful Redeemer. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have worship. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. May the Lord bless you, man. We thank God for the for the praise and worship. May the Lord bless you, man. More anointing in Jesus' name. Amen. So we are seeing the moon of worship on our Father, our Savior, our Redeemer. We are going to call upon the, the, the choir, our choir in the Cameroon for the hymn. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. Welcome. Just a minute, please. Okay, ma. So bless the name of the Lord, our God is the mighty Savior, mighty Redeemer. Another Sunday of the year. Hallelujah. Our God is good, mighty Savior, mighty Redeemer. We bless the name of the Lord. So our choir, they are here. We bless the name of the Lord. May the Lord bless you all. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The title of our choir is Blessed Assurance. Hallelujah. Blessed Assurance. Jesus is mine. Oh, what a fortress of glory divine, hair of salvation, portions of God, born of his spirit, washed in his blood. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day, day long. This is my story. This is my song. Praise him, my Savior, all the day, day long. Perfect submission, perfect delight, vision of rapture, numbers on my side, angel descending, bring from above. Echo of mercy, whisper of love. This is my story. This is my song. Praise my Savior all the day long. This is my story. This is my song. Praise my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, all is at rest. I in my Savior, happy and blessed, washing and wanting, looking above, filled with this goodness, Lord, he lost in his love. This is my story, this is my song. Praise him, my Savior, all the day, day long. This is my story. This is my song. Praise him, my Savior, 
Oh, they the Lord. This is my story. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior. Oh, they the Lord. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior. Oh, they the Lord. Uh, amen. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you all for the hymn. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We thank God for the hymn. We bless the name of the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. So, right now, we are going to hear the word of the Lord. So, we are going to call upon our our beloved brother, evangelist, future evangelist, by the help of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Amen. So we are going to welcome Brother Jesse for the Bible reading. And the Lord bless you, my brother. Amen. I read Proverbs chapter 15, verse 1 to 6. A soft answer turneth away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. The tongue of the wise useth knowledge alike. The mouth of the force poureth out foolishness. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. A wholesome tongue is a tree of life, but perverse sense herein is a breach in the spirit. A fool despises his father's instructions, but he that regardeth reprove his prudence. The house of the righteous is much treasure, but in the revenue of the wicked is trouble. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless you, our future evangelists. May the Lord bless you for this Bible reading. In Jesus' name, we bless the name of the Lord. Amen, amen, amen. So right now, we thank God for God. We bless his holy name. So we are going to right now, we are going for our testimony. So testimony time, blessed time. I know all of us, we've got testimony. Hallelujah. I'm waiting for testifier. Testimony time. Blessing time. I'm waiting. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I'm waiting for testifier. Oh. Testimony time, blessing time. We are still waiting, we are still waiting. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. So no testimony, hallelujah. Hey, Father, have mercy upon you. Testimony time, blessing time. Blessing money time, blessing time. Okay, I will testify the goodness of God in my life and bless the name of the Lord. Our God is good, mighty Savior, mighty Redeemer. My testimony is to thank God for the goodness of God in my life, in my husband's life, my children's life. I just want to bless God for divine healing. My husband will have a bit temperature uh, for the, the weekend. I thank God for healing my husband, for giving my husband a, a, heal, a healing. Uh, I just bless God for, for his goodness, for his lovely kindness in my life, in my husband's side, my children's side, my grandchildren, my in-laws. I just bless the name of the Lord for keeping us alive. We are among the living. I just want to bless the name of the Lord. I give him all the glory, all the honor, and the praise in Jesus' name. This is my testimony. In Jesus' name, testimony time, blessing time. So if there is no other testifier, we thank God for this testimony. Cover this testimony with the precious blood of the Lamb of God. Amen. I know next week, by the grace of God, may the Lord give us testimonies for cross to have something to testify. In Jesus' name, amen. We bless God for God. Amen. So right now we are... So right now we are going for to work and we are going to welcome our we are going to welcome our followers online. Praise Master Jesus. May the Lord bless you all for following or for joining, for tuning in. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. We know you are blessed as we are blessed here in Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. So I'm going to welcome each and every one of us in the forum. 
I'm going to welcome each and every one of us in Jesus' name. So I'm welcoming Evangelist Marie. May the Lord bless you, ma, in Jesus' name. I welcome Evangelist Jan. May the Lord bless you, ma, in Jesus' name. I welcome Sister Regine. May the Lord bless you, my sister, in Jesus' name. I welcome Pastor ne James. May the Lord bless you and your family in the name of Jesus Christ. I welcome Rajesi. May the Lord bless you. Our brother, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord increase you more and more in Jesus' name. In wisdom, in the name of, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. So we are going to welcome our sister. I've been a long time. We thank God for the safe delivery that uh, our sister and uh, Aisha, may the Lord bless you for journey. We really miss you for this month. <laughs> may the Lord bless you, bless your family in Jesus' name. So we welcome um, our sister Abena, may the Lord bless you for joining. May the Lord bless you. We welcome each and every one of us. I welcome myself as well in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah to the name of God in Jesus' name. Amen. So right now, this is the time you and I, we are waiting for the word of the Lord. As the word of the Lord says to you and I, the word of the Lord said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of Almighty God. So we are going to be ready right now. Get your Bible, get, get your pen and your, and your book and your jotter to judge uh, the, the scriptures down. So when you have the time, you have your free time, you can go back to the scripture and, and um, read it for yourself. And the Holy Spirit will minister to you afresh again in Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you. So we are going to pray for the servant of God before we, we call her to come and feed us with the food, and the spiritual food that Almighty God has for you and I today. In the name of Jesus Christ, let us pray for the servant of God. Let us pray. Oh Lord, my Father, oh Lord, my God, we thank you for this moment. We thank you for this servant. Lord, we thank you for your servant. You have chosen to be a blessing to us that you will use to speak to us today, Father. Father, we present her off to, to you, Almighty God. We ask you for fresh anointing upon her, Lord. Father, Almighty God, anoint her voice, anoint her lips, Almighty God. Give her your mouth and give her your wisdom, Almighty God. Eh, Shada, to speak your word, Almighty God, in the name, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father. Build the hedge of protection around him right now. Surrender him, O oh Lord, with your pillar of fire for the enemy not to come to distract in the name of Jesus, my Father. Almighty God, we plead the blood of just kind of summon the message that you have given to you, how to deliver to the Lord. We plead the blood of just kind of herself in the name of Jesus, my Father. Come and have your way, Father. Open each and every one of ear of your sons and your daughter. Open our heart and our ear of your, hearing your word and understanding your word, Almighty God, as we hear your word through your servant, Mount O Lord. Help us. Almighty God to put in practice in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for this moment. Speak to each and every one of us, O Lord, through your servant right now by the help of your Holy Spirit. Father, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. So I'm going to welcome right now the servant of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. So I welcome you, Evangelist Marie. May the Lord bless you. Amen. The Lord bless each one of us in Jesus' name. Let us have the word of prayer. King of glory, Father, we thank you, Lord, Father, we give you all the praise, we give you all the adoration, we give you all the honor, you are worthy, you are excellent, you are marvelous, you are wonderful, Father, we thank you for this wonderful moment, Lord, Father, that you have given to us, Lord, Father, to sit at your feet, Lord, Father, to receive what you have prepared for us today, as you said, man, man shall not live by bread, and not by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God, Father, we are here, Lord, Father, as you said to Mary, Lord, Father, that you have chosen a good part that cannot be taken away from her, Father, let the word, Lord, Father, that that you are going to hear tonight that you will not be taken away from us in the mighty name of Jesus, but you will bring transformation, Father, you will prepare us, O Lord, Father, and you encourage us, you will strengthen us, O Lord, Father, to be, O Lord, Father, faithful to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we cover this wonderful moment to the blood of Jesus and come against the spirit of destruction. Father, open our spiritual ears. Father, let our heart, O Lord, Father, to be a solid ground that will be ready to receive the word that we have today, O Lord, Father, to find a solid ground, O Lord, Father, to grow and to bring transformation and to make our, our faith, O Lord, Father, increase more and more in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. The message we have today is to continue to know that every moment or let's say that as the children of God, the enemy fights us more 
And most of the time when the enemy is fighting us, we question ourselves a lot to say that, but why? Why are they fighting me? What do I have? I don't even have anything. What are they seeing in my life? They are fighting me for. You understand? The devil might, you might not have anything physically or your current situation, you might be struggling, but the enemy is not seeing your now. Is seeing your future, is seeing your destiny, is seeing what you will become tomorrow. So the devil is fighting all the chosen children of God because they are threat to him. You must say, ah, why? Sometimes you see people even have more than you. They are fighting you because they have seen your star. They are after something that you don't even know that you have it. That is the favor of God. The anointing, the favor of God, your destiny, what God is preparing you for greatness that you don't even know, know about it yet. And the enemy, the kingdom of darkness, they already know about it. There is something that you cannot hide. You cannot hide to God and you cannot hide to the devil. He knows everything about us. Because even when he doesn't know anything about us, he will check, he have this, um, he will go and will, he will check to find out who is this person? Where did this person come from? He will check, he will check your life without you knowing. He's already scanning your weak point. The weak point where he can start his assignment from. You have something value and special, but you have not yet known about it. So today we are going to be mentioning some points that make you now, when you are fighting or you are having challenges in your life, when you see the rough, you are passing into a rough moment, you change your prayer from doubting to start now to have to increase your faith to know that you are not the ordinary person. Because if you are just an ordinary person, Satan will not waste his time with you. The devil will not come after you. I want you to know something that a thief doesn't break into an empty house. For a thief to come into your house, that means you have seen something value that is after, after, the, that is after it. You understand? You have seen something value. That's why you come and break. If you see your life is going through a serious attack, then you need to know that there is something in you that God has put in you that is special, that the enemy is after it. The enemy is not after, is not afraid of your, your current situation, but he is afraid of what you will become tomorrow. He's afraid because he knows that if God is with you, the thing that God has put in you, except you open the door for the enemy to quench it or to stop it, but you surely manifest. You are trained to the kingdom of darkness and the darkness and the kingdom of darkness is there after it. Most of the time, the enemy that are attacking us, or let's say the people that are fighting us, they are not real our enemies. They are not really our enemies, but they are used by our enemy. They are used by our enemy to weak us, to make us distracted, or to make us come, up, come out of the way. Because the moment we are focusing on your so-called your enemies, you are forgetting your real enemy, which is the devil. It will bring you into destruction. The time you are getting upset with the one that you think is your enemy, the enemy is busy using that weak point of yours to destroy you even more. To delay what God has put in us. So our enemy, the enemy of our destiny, the enemy of our tomorrow, they can start working now and we don't know. So when they are fighting you, sometimes you'll say, but these people... Eh? My manager always fights me. My supervisor always fights me, but they have power. You are powerless according to your own view. But they always see you as a threat. 
Some people, they can even go ahead. Do you think you, you can be in my place? Do you think you can replace me? But you don't understand because you don't have spiritual eyes to understand what are they afraid of. There is something in you. They are seeing you the way you don't see yourself. Remember Gideon. When God chose him, he said, you are a mighty man of value. He said, if I'm what you are saying, how come I'm suffering? How come my life is this? I'm the least of my family. Because that's why he will see himself. But in the eyes of God, it was more than that. And God knew that he's going to use him for a greatness. And the enemy knew that he's going to be a threat. God is going to use him mightily. So that's why you see, it was making him to doubt God. It was making him to question God. Hallelujah. So today is, we are going to mention some parts. Let's start from, um, let's start from the, the book of um, First Samuel. Let's start from the book of First Samuel. Hallelujah. The book of First Samuel, let's see that the story of uh, David. How David was anointed by God, was chosen by God because someone disobeyed, um, Saul disobeyed God and he was rejected by God. And we know that before David killed Goliath, his life was not a threat to anybody. He was just a normal person. Nobody knew David until God chose him, until he was appointed by God to defeat Goliath. After, he, after uh, David defeated Goliath, the enemy started to see him with the different eyes. Let's say King Saul starts seeing David with different eyes. Remember, nobody knew David. Let's see the Bible in the book of Samuel, chapter 17, verse 55 to 58. First Samuel uh, 17, let's start from 55 to 58. It says, and when Saul saw David go forth against the Philistine, he said unto Abner, the captain of, of the horse, Abner, Whose son is this youth? And Abner said, As thy soul liveth, O king, I cannot tell. And the king said, Inquire thou whose son the, 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 the strapling is. And David returned from the, the slaughter of the Philistine. Abner took him and brought him before Saul with the head of the Philistine in, in his hand. And Saul said to him, Whose son art thou, thou young man? And David answered, I am the son of thy servant Jesse, Bethlehemist. Hallelujah. You see that? When Saul saw what David did, he started looking at David. He tried to require to know him more. Which power did this young boy have? Who is this young, uh, what is this young boy is after too? You understand? It's up to something that he was able to do what I, the king, I was not able to do. This is not a normal child. It's some, he has something in him. He starts now seeing David with another eyes. But before David killed the Goliath, nobody was after David. Nobody even knew, knew him. Even his own father forsake him. Nobody knew about it until God used him to do something great, to defeat the enemy of all of them. I mean, the enemy of God. So start now checking, scanning the life of David. From that moment, Saul did not remove his eyes from David. He wanted to know all the steps of David. What is David's planning? Enough for him to have extra control or total control towards the life of David. He now put him to be under his leadership, to be controlling him. If he's going to do something that he is already thinking that he's going to do. 
to take his place or to be more than him, to be honored by people. Because Saul is somebody that he was more worried about um, the, the view of people or uh, what the, the comment, how can I even put it the right word to use? So he was caring about how people will see him and how people, it was a bit more, like, let me give a, an example of today in this world that we have today. The government, the governor, the president, the kings, they were, they are afraid of media. The same media as they were to see people on those days. What media will say, if you want to attack them, they say that let media not hear about this information. It will bring problem. It will bring this one. If they put it in media and the media will spread it to the word that, you know, they will be afraid to manifest it, to bring it out. So that is what exactly what, uh, if so was alive today, it will be more care about what media will, will, will say about them. So you see that it was like when the people now start, he put uh, David as the captain of his, you know, he put David as a captain over a thousand just to control him, just to see, to try to stop him from being what he was already thinking, expecting David to see. Let's read from the book of um, we are still in the first Samuel 18. Let's start from 12. 18, let's start from 12 to 18. First Samuel 18, 12 to 18. And he said, and Saul was afraid of David because the Lord was with him and he was departed from Saul. Therefore, Saul removed, his, removed him from him and made him his captain is captain over a thousand. And he went out and came in before the people. And David behaved himself wisely in all his way. And the Lord was with him. 15. Wherefore, when Saul saw that he behaved himself very wisely, he was afraid of him. You understand. But all Israel and Judah loved David because he went out and came in before, before them. 18, and so said to David, behold, my elder daughter, Merab, Merab, ha, will, will I give thee to wife only, only by thou value for me and fight the lost battle? For so said, let not my hand be upon him, but let the hand of the Philistine be upon him. Hallelujah. 18, and David, David said to, to, unto Saul, who am I? And what is my life or my, family, and my father's family in Israel that I should, I should be, I should be son-in-law to the king. Like I said before, you know, the enemy, when the battle or when the enemy is fighting you, is not fighting you because you have money, you are financial stable, all because you have power. He's fighting you, not for your current situation, but what you are going to be to become. Because checking the life of uh, the soul, soul was rich. He had everything. Imagine he was controlling the whole children of Israel. So it was the first king that God appointed in the earth. You understand? He has power. He has money. He has all the honor. He has everything. Then David was just a simple boy that was known because he killed the Philistine. He was nobody before killing the Goliath. But he, what was in the life of David that was making a king like Saul to be afraid of him? If you check it in physical eyes, you will not see anything. But if you check it in spiritual eyes, you know that David was greater than Saul. Why? Because the spirit of God was upon him. God was with him. The favor of God was with him. Anything that David would touch, he was victory. Every battle that David would enter into, 
It was victory. No matter at the number of the enemy that will come in David's way, God was defeating them. But it was not so with Saul. That jealousy. What David have? Why did he have that power? Why God is using him mightily? Is this anointing that I have to stop? That's why before God anointed David, he commanded Samuel not to tell anybody because it was not yet time for David to shine. He needed more training. He was on the process of learning from God. And it was through that challenges that became even more greater than all of them in Israel. No soldier that was stronger than David. And God calling the heart, the, hope, the man, according to the heart of God. So you might be asking, why are they fighting me? Whatever you are doing, you always raise enemies against you. Sometimes the people that are fighting you, they have more money than you. They have financial stable than you. They are more beautiful than you. They are more so, so they have more stuff. Why? Why do you people hate me? In your family, they hate you because they are seeing something in you that you yourself will have not yet discerned it. In your working place, they see you as a threat. In some places you go, sometimes your happiness alone, it bothers people. It bothers the enemy. Your joy alone, it bothers the enemy. Everything you do, they always accusation after accusation. They are trying to weak you. They are trying to change you from what you are for another person. And God wants to use you the way you are. Do not allow the enemy to change you. The enemy to make you bitter. The enemy to make you sorrowful. God is about to do something in your life. And the enemy knows about it. He doesn't want you. So, David asked uh, King Saul. He said, who am I? Who am I? Who is my family? For us to have this, for me to have this honor being the, the daughter-in-law, the son-in-law of the king, the king of the whole Israel. But we know that in the heart of King Saul, he was planning evil. He put him the captain of his soldier, but yet people loved him more than him. He saw that people, he saw that he said something with this boy that I want to find out or I want to stop. Why people love him more than, more than me? Why people start honoring him more than me? He did not want to lose his position. So he know that the position he put him is not enough for him to look his downfall or to kill him. He now put a, a, a plan to give her a, his own daughter and to, to require the, the bride price that no soldier will be able to pay it. Imagine. He asked him to, 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 to pay the bride price of what? To pay the bride price of the... Where is it even? And so said, let not my hand... Hold on, let me say. Only be thou valiant for me and fight the, the, the lost battle. For Saul said to his hand, uh, to his heart, let not my hand be upon him. Because he asked the, the bride price that he asked, um, I'm trying to find that, that, that place. The bride price that he asked um, David, he was to bring the, four, uh, I think it was 100, first skin of uh, the, 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 the Philistine. He knew that by the time David would enter into the Philistines' land, according to him, he will not come out alive. And when David will die, it's no longer 25, a sister. Sorry, ma'am. It's verse 25. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Saul said that, Saul said, 
Thou shalt ye say to David, the king desire not any dowry, but an hundred first king of the Philistine to be avenged of the king's enemies. But Saul thought to make David fall by the hand of the Philistine. Do you understand? Why do you want David dead? You are already in a position. You have everything. Why do you still want David to die? Because he saw David as a threat to his kingdom, to his position as a king. You understand. But because God was with David, he made the plan of, uh, he made the plan of, uh, the plan of uh, 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 this king to fail. You understand. He made the plan of King Saul to fail. King Saul was already powerful. He had everything, but yet he was afraid of small boy like David. Because David, he has the anointing. He has God before him. You cannot defeat somebody that have God as a protection. You cannot defeat somebody that God said that you are the one God that appointed. That some people are suffering in their life. Some people are, are finding themselves miserable without knowing the cause of their problem. They touch the untouchable one. When they attach somebody that you're not supposed to, that battle is no longer between you and that person. It becomes not between you and God because God has to honor his name. The same way you cannot defeat God. God is going to defeat you because you have touched. You have touched him. You have touched him. There are some people that when you touch them, it's like you are putting your finger in the eyes of God. And the consequence of it is great. That's exactly what happened to King Saul. So we knew that David has something that I don't have. And he was trying to stop that thing. He's trying to stop. You know, sometimes the, the people in a position, the people with power, the people in a position, like I say, manager, supervisor, or my business people you are working for, you understand? They are not intimidated. They are not intimidated with what you, you have now, but they are intimidated but of what you are going to become after. That is their threat. They know this one. With the wisdom that she has, mm, she will go far. She can even do more than I can. You see that the person is working with you. He can do some people, they have the blessing they choose by God himself. That they are knowing that everything that they will touch, they will prosper. You can be ahead of them, but you don't have that faith. All of us, we have grace. But it's not all of us that you have favor from God. You understand? All of us, we have grace. As long as you accept our Lord Jesus, you already grace is available to everybody. Even the one that have not yet given their life to Jesus, the favor, the, the, the grace is already available. Because the Bible said the grace of our Lord Jesus appeared to all of us to, make, to teach us. It's your choice now whether you accept it or not. You see, although the brothers of Joseph, they was already hating Joseph because Joseph was different. Among all of them, there was something with Joseph that their other brother did not have. And that thing is the one that was making Jacob to love Joseph more. Because he had this special favor from God. He has special grace from God. He has the spirit of the leadership in him that other brothers they did not have. When the other brothers were careless about their father's flock, Joseph was taking note and take the evil report of what their brother was doing wrong to their father because he knew that he cannot challenge them. And the only person that can bring correction to their brothers because they were elder than him is the father. So therefore, he was bringing it to the father. And the father was so pleased with the character of Joseph because of the fear of God in him. Remember, all of them, they are the children of promise. 
They are the seed of Abraham. They are qualified of the blessing. But then, it's not all of them that have the fear of God. But Joseph have the fear of God. Because even when the father was not around, he was fearing God even in absence of his father. But the other brothers, they was only fearing when they're in the presence of their father to pretend that yes. But then what they were doing in secret was completely different. And Joseph was not part of it. He was reporting to the father. So everything was like, although the hatred was there, because they were calling him a snake. Ah, you are perfect. You want everything. You must, you must report everything. You cannot be uh, in our side to, you know, to keep some secret. You, everything you are bringing. So therefore, you are not our friend anymore. But the, the, the less that Joseph knew about his brother, that they are going to be worse. They are going to do worse things. Before Joseph dreamed about his elevation, the hatred was there, but nobody was thinking of killing him. Nobody was thinking of selling him until God now chose to manifest himself through Joseph. God now chose to choose Moses, um, Joseph to be the one to lead. And when Joseph was talking about his dream, he was talking about elevation without them having discernment that he was not to rule only about, uh, over his brethren, but also to lead the other country. Hallelujah. Let us go to the book of, let us turn to the book of um, Genesis 37. The book of Genesis 37 verse, uh, let's start from verse 1, by the grace of God. Genesis 37, verse 6. The book of Genesis 37. Let me start from verse 3, sorry. Now, Israel loved Joseph more than all his children because he was the son of his old age, and he made him a coat of many color. And when his brethren saw that, their father loved him more than all his brethren. They hated him, and he could not speak peaceably into him. And Joseph dreamed a dream, and he told it to his brethren, and they hated, he hated him yet more. Yet the more. And he said unto them, Here I pray you this dream which I have dreamed. For behold, we were binding shapes in the field. And lo, my sheep rose and arose and also stood upright. And behold, your sheaves stood around apart and make obedience to my, my, my sheaf. And his brethren said to him, Shall thou indeed reign over us? Or shall thou indeed have dominion over us? And they hated him, in, uh, hated him yet the more for his dream and for his words. Nine, and dream, dreamed yet another dream and told it to his brethren and said, and said, Behold, I have dreamed a dream more. And behold, the sun and the moon shall and the eleven star and eleven star make obedience to me. And he told it to his father and to his brethren. And his father rebuked him and said unto him, What is this dream that thou hast dreamed? Shall I and my and thy mother and thy brethren indeed come to bow down, to bow down ourselves to thee on the earth? And his brethren envy him, but his father observed the saying. 12. And his brethren went to feed their father's flock in the shechem. And Israel said unto Joseph, Do not thy brethren feed the flocks in shechem. Come, and I will send thee into them. And he, he said to him, Here I am. And he said to, and he said to him, Go and pray thee 
go, go, I pray thee, see whether it be well with thy brethren, and thy brethren, and do well with the flock, and bring me words again. So he sent him out of the valley of Abram, and he came to Shechem. And a certain man found him, and behold, he was wandering in the field. And the man asked him, saying, What seekest thou? And he said, I seek my brethren. Tell me, I pray thee, where they feed their flock. And the man said, They are depart, and for I heard them say, Let us go to Dothan. And Joseph went after his brethren and found them in Dothan. And when they saw him afar off, even before he came near unto them, they, they conspired against him to slay him. 19. And they said one to another, Behold, this dreamer come. Come now, therefore, and let us slay him and cast him into some pit. And we will say, some evil beast has devoured him, and we shall see what will become of his dream. Hallelujah. So you see that is the dream that disturbed their brother more because it was not an ordinary dream. He was talking about the, the, what God has destined des Joseph to do, the greatness. It was enough for them to plan. Before there was only hatred and envy, but now they was planning to murder him because they wanted to stop him, to stop the thing that God has put in Joseph. You understand? So you can see that their brother was not worried about the current situation of Joseph, but they was worried about what Joseph will become. Because they say, let us slay him, and then we see what will become of his dream. Because the dream was talking about elevation. They did not want Joseph to be elevated. They never think about, ah, this elevation will benefit us. The people that, that make themselves available to the enemy, they only think negative sides. They don't see, they think the positive side. They will not know that, ah, if God is using our sister, it's for our own blessing. They will not think about it. If God is using this one, if the God is using my, uh, my, my worker, is to benefit this company, is for this company to grow. Remember when Potiphar invited Moses, uh, Joseph to his house, the Bible said that all his things pr prosper because he invited the blessing of God into his house anointed of God into his house. Potiphar experienced the blessing. Everything that Joseph was starting in the house of Potiphar, he would just a uh, positive sight. That's why he made him the ruler. He said, after me, it's you in my house. Because of the kind of blessing that he was experiencing. But some people, they cannot know that in this worker that you have this wisdom like this, if I keep her in this company, you'll be greater, this company will grow, this company will be known. No, it starts fighting you. You want to take over? You want to take my place? You want to destroy my position? You, you will see you as a threat instead of blessing. He will see you as a threat instead of blessing. Seeing that it so could not discern that if you know David, by now, you still in bondage in the hand of the Philistine. But still, you forget about the Philistine. The Philistine are no longer the enemy of Saul. The enemy of Saul become David. Become David. The brothers of uh, Joseph, they no longer see themselves that the one that destroying themselves, the one that made God not to use them because they were disobeying the commandment of God, but they were seeing Joseph that make himself available to be used by God. You understand? So we are fighting the wrong enemy without knowing you are fighting the wrong enemy. We are going to move. I'm trying to bring this point so that you change your way of praying. You change the way you are hating the different people instead of fighting the real enemy. You understand? The brothers of Joseph, they were afraid of who Joseph would become. 
Joseph will become greater than them. They will end up bowing before Joseph. And whether they like it or not, they end up bowing before Joseph. What they were trying to stop, it did not make them, their jealousy, their hatred, it did not make them, it did not stop the plan of God in the life of Joseph. The hatred of Saul did not stop David from sitting in that throne. He did not stop Joseph to sit in that throne. The jealousy, the hatred of your family will not stop you from God, will not stop God from performing what he wants to perform through you. You understand? That's how it is. You see, moving in the, in the story of, uh, in the life of Daniel, you see, the Bible said Daniel prayed 21 days. But from the first day that Daniel prayed, God has answered and sent the answer. He sent Gabriel. But Gabriel was arrested by the prince of Persia. The prince of the kingdom of Persia arrested Gabriel for 21 days. I want you to know that the king of Persia was not after Gabriel. The Gabriel was not the enemy of the king of Persia. The enemy of the king of Persia was Daniel. And for him to come to Daniel, he needed to use Gabriel to stop Gabriel from passing the message to Daniel. According to him, if you do so, Daniel will, will discourage, Daniel will stop praying, Daniel will not believe more in, in God the way he was, he will, become, he will no longer become a threat. You understand? So I'm bringing this point for you to stop focusing on the wrong enemy. The person that is fighting you, the person that is hating you, the person that is frustrating you is not your enemy. Is Satan using this person to attack you? Because he knows that by passing to this person to frustrate you, you open the door of bitterness. You open the door of unforgiveness. You open the door with anger. You open so many doors for him to have access to come in your life. Now, if you don't see the spirit behind this person, you are now fighting the wrong battle. That's why you see your flesh start fighting another flesh. And the Bible tells us that we wrestle not against the flesh and blood. That's why you see God give us a warning in Ephesians 6 and 12. He said you wrestle not against the flesh for you to focus on the flesh. We wrestle against powers. Because the king, the prince of Persia, he knew that he cannot go straight to Daniel. He need to pass. He said, by stopping Gabriel, something will happen. But less that you know that God is going to change to turn the table on Daniel's favor. He said, what is going on? Send Michael to go and release. And when Gabriel came to see, if he said the first day, God sent me, but I was stopped. Now, I want you now to think, if the, if the angel like Gabriel, that you and I, we know that is the messenger of God, that he have no sin, was able to be stopped by those power, not to bring your blessing. If Daniel, as the righteous person, that was fearing God and uh, uh, in, the, in the way of challenging the king, Satan was able to attack him. How much more you and I, we are still struggling with one thing to another. How much more? You are a threat to the kingdom of darkness. And the enemy want to activate the flesh in you for you to stop being a threat. Because he knows if you are a continue fearing God, if you kill the flesh every day, he, 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 you are going to defeat him. You are a threat. You, become, you are a prayer oreo. 
The time that you are sending fire, you're supposed to be destroying. You are lamenting. Why my life is like this? Why this person is fighting me? Even when I did not say anything, that time the enemy is busy doing what you're supposed to stop in prayer. That is the assignment of the enemy. The enemy is not afraid of your now. He's seeing your tomorrow. And they want to stop you from being the person that God wants you to be. Remember, what makes King Herod in the book of uh, Matthew chapter 2, verse 13 to 17. Let us stand there. Matthew chapter 2. Here is the story of uh, our Lord Jesus. When our Lord Jesus was born. When our Lord Jesus was born, the enemy was not happy. When he was born, and you see the sign that came, the star that they, uh, these people, how do they call them? Okay, let's just read the word so that I will not make mistake. I will read from uh, 13 to 17. He said, and when they were depart before, like I said, they, those angels, they passed, those, how do you get the, uh, how do they call them? Or, let me see. I'm trying to find their name. Hallelujah. I don't want to enter into destruction. So when these people uh, say, uh, let's start from, uh, I'm trying to find the name. Should I read from the beginning? Okay, let's start from one so that, yeah. Now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod, the king, behold, there came wise man here. This is the word that I was looking, wise man. So when the wise man came to Herod, they were looking for the star, but he came to, to a time that when they reached the, the, the city, they could not find the star anymore. So they end up going to the king. According to them, maybe according to them, King, he, he, he will be there. So as they were asking, where is the child that was born? Where is the child that was born? He came to the ears of uh, Herod. And Herod called them to say, what is going on? And they explained everything that happened. So now I'm going to the point. When they explain, and Herod warned them, he told them that you go and see the child. When you see the child, Come to me, and I myself, I will go and worship the child. Now, let's start from verse 13, as I, I have summarized the, the verse. When they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in the dream, saying, Arise and take the young child and his mother, and flee into Egypt, and be, and be thou there until I bring thee word. For Herod will seek to uh, will uh, Herod will seek the young child to destroy him, and when fourteen, when he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night and departed into Egypt, and this, uh, and he was there until the death of Herod, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the law by the prophet, saying out of Egypt, as I call my son. Then Herod, he saw that there was mocked of the wise man, was exceeding rough and sent forth and slay all the children that were in Bethlehem and in all the coast thereof from two years old under, according to the time which, which he had diligently required of the wise man. 
then was fulfilled that was spoken by Je uh, Jeremiah the prophet saying, in Rama was there a voice heard lamentation and the weeping and great mourning, Rachel weeping for her children and they will not be comforted because they are not, hallelujah. So you see here, when the wise man passed through Herod to say that, oh, we are looking for the child to worship him, or blah, blah, blah. And Herod said that you go and see, when you see the place, by the time you come back, you tell me. But God assigned the wise man not to come back on the way that they, they went, not to go back to the same way. He gave them the instruction to change their way. Because already knew what the enemy, what Harold was planning, or what the enemy was planning to Harold. So now you can see here, Harold now, when he found out that the time has passed, it's already two years. Nothing is happening. Those people are not coming back. He realized that they lied to him. As he realized that they lied to him, he now was both. For him not to miss the child. He started slaying every child from two years to young, innocent children. Why? Because of the trades. He was, he knew that this one that is coming is greater than I. He's going to defeat me. He's going to do what I, as a king, I was not able to do. That's why he wanted to destroy the destiny of the children, that child. And because he could not get the right child, he end up not slaying innocent children. But did he stop what God assigned Jesus to do? He did not. Because it was the will of God. The enemy can only frustrate, but he cannot stop because he has not that power. We are the one that delay our own assignment or our own destiny because of disobedience or because we allow the flesh to manifest instead of killing. So now tell me, how can you be afraid of a small baby? As a baby, he has not yet started his assignment. He was not afraid of that baby. He was afraid of what that baby would do in the future. So the enemy is after what you do. Where will you spend your eternity after you leave this world? That is what is disturbing him. That is why disturbing him. Or it's not interested whether you are poor or you are rich. Is your salvation is after. Is your salvation after. Remember I said earlier that the enemy, that, the thief that, that you will never break to an empty house that you know that there's nothing to benefit in that house. He must, they must have something precious in that house for them to enter. You cannot stand up and be stoning an empty tree that you have no fruit. Even if you have fruit, you have to make sure that that fruit is ready for you to harvest them. For the enemy to come after. That's why you see some people, they live their life peacefully. They have no problem. And they see asking, ah, how come you Christian, you always complain, you always suffer, you always passing through this one. You understand? Because you have something that is enemy after. The enemy is after that special thing. The day you did not give your life to Jesus, everything was okay in your life. But the day you decide to silence the flesh in you, the day that you decide to take the step of obeying the word of God rather than your own desire, the battle will start. The challenge will start. Because now the enemy is asking, who is that person? What kind of, who, who is that person? Why is the, the sight to follow him? He was okay in darkness. Why is that light? The enemy now starts to see your life as a threat. You come, bring destruction. You come and bring challenges. You know, Pharaoh, Pharaoh was not afraid of the current situation of the children of Israel. He was afraid of what will they become in the future. He said, let us he start elim elim eliminating them. Any male child, kill them. Because the way they are multi multiplying, very soon they will come a challenge to us. That's why now they start now making them to become a slave. 
they start now maltreating them. And Pharaoh said, every male child, every male child, why male child? Why not woman? Because in the kingdom of darkness, they already knew that there was someone. They knew there was someone that God is going to raise in these new children that are coming. Why did he not give that degree when a Pharaoh was born, um, uh, when the arrow was born? There were other children. Why in the time of Moses? Why in the time of Moses? You might be saying that, how come only me in my family? Only me in my family? Because you decide to choose the right way. Joseph was not the, born, the first born, but because he decided to stand in the state, to stand for God, and the challenge started. And God is looking for the one that is going to stand for him, the one that is going to trust him, the one that is going to obey him. So whatever is happening in your life, one day we were talking with one sister, I said, ah, ah, why people fighting me? Why people are jealous of me? Me that I don't even have anything to offer. You have a lot of things to offer. You have something that they don't have. They have money. They are fighting you. They have things. They are fighting you. You'll be wondering. Because what you have is precious. You cannot buy it with a price. You cannot buy it with gold. You cannot buy it with silver, not even diamonds. It's a precious. It comes from God himself. Before David killed Goliath, everything was fine. Nobody knew him until he decided to obey God. The day you take the decision to separate with the world is the time that the enemy put his eyes on you. Stand for Jesus. Continue to obey God. He's about to turn the table for your favor where the enemy will be astonished. May the Lord bless you. Be encouraged with the world. Whatever you are going through, you are not everybody. You are somebody special in the eyes of God. And the enemy is afraid of you. That's why he's fighting you. You are a threat to the kingdom of darkness. You are something powerful in the kingdom of darkness. Continue to be closer to God. May the Lord bless you. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. We thank God for the word of God. You and I, we can hear the word of encouragement through our Father, through our uh, to, to us, through the servant of God. We bless the name of the Lord. We thank God. May the Lord continue increasing you, woman of God. We thank God for this word. You know, as you said, you said it all. We thank God. So wherever you are right now, whatever the, the, the persecution you are passing through, take courage, take heart. God is on your side. God is on your side, is on our side, because the word of the Lord didn't tell us that it's bed of roses. The Christian life, the day you give your life to Jesus, is bed of roses. No, the word of the Lord told you and I that there is persecution. Even lovely Jesus told the disciples, he warned the disciples before the time. He told them that they will pass through persecution. People will persecute them because of his namesake. So that is still the same that happened to today. May the Lord give all of us the grace to handle any persecution that, that will come on our way. Because of we have surrendered to Jesus, the anointing of God is upon you, upon us. We bless the name of the May the Lord bless you, woman of God. We really bless the name of the Lord. Our God is good. And we thank God for fighting battles for us. As the, the woman of God says, spoke about concerning your enemy, my enemy. It's not the people that are fighting us, not our, it's not our people, it's not our relatives, it's not our, our, our boss. No, our neighbors, no, they are not the one, they are not the really, they are, but they are, they are just, uh, they are just uh, manipulated by the enemy of our soul. Even them that the enemy is using, enemy hate them. So Satan hate them, but just Satan just looking for one, anybody that he can use to open doors. So see if he can enter to, 
to attack the child of God. So as the word of the Lord said, the servant of God said that concerning the book of Ephesians chapter, Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12, as we, you are now, we know we are not wrestling against a flesh and blood, but we are wrestling against powers. So there is power that fighting you are now. So the word of the Lord and name the powers that fighting you are now. The word of the Lord says to you and I, we are fighting against who? Wrestling against who? Principalities, powers, rulers of darkness of this world. The spiritual weakness in the high places, they are our really enemy. Not a human, not our old brothers and sisters, not our husband, not our wife, our children, not our neighbor, not our bosses. No, not our, no, not our church members. No, they are not the one. But because they, because their mind is still carnal, so the enemy can use them at any time. That is why you and I, as a child of God, we should not be open to the enemy, giving chance to the enemy to use us. You know, not just to say that I'm a child of God, that you said you are a child of God, I'm a child of God, that enemy cannot use you, and the enemy cannot use me. You just have to, to guide your mind, because he's firing that arrow at any time, he's firing to all of us. So it's you and I that we reject the arrows of uh, to go and uh, manipulate, uh, to, to allow the enemy arrows to manipulate or to hate somebody. To cause somebody to be crying, to cause somebody to be sorrow, to cause somebody to be to be to be questioning Father God. And is it true? If it is true, uh, this person is a child of God. Why is he doing me so? Why is he up and manipulating? Why is he hurting me? I don't think there is God. That is what the enemy wants from you. He wants you to deny your father. He wants you to say the things that will not be pleasing to Father God. So you are now, as a child of God, that is why lovely Jesus said, so you are now, we should be wise. We should be wise. May the Lord give us the grace to be wise. I know when you are now, we are passing through the persecutions, you know, mostly from the, our, our loving ones, it's, it hurts. If I'm telling you right now, you are passing through persecution in your family, it's not hurt. I'm not saying the truth. It hurts. It's just the grace of God. You, have, you and I have to stand asking God for grace, to give me the grace to have mercy, to give me the grace to, to forgive them. Father, clean my heart. Father, purify me. Father, help me. Father, this arrow. Father, don't let it take root in my heart. This arrow, they are fiery. Father, uproot it out of me. And Father God, we help you and I. It will help you and I. So may the Lord help, uh, help us in this heavenly race because the enemy knows. He knows where you and I, we are going after we leave this earth. He knows heaven is glorious. Heaven is beautiful. There is no sorrow there. There is no there, there are cries of tears there. There is no darkness there. No, no, you don't have to labor before you start something to eat. Everything is prepared for you and I. The house that made with the, with gold and the, and silver and the, and a diamond. Just imagine that that kind of a beautiful house. That Almighty God, Lord Jesus Christ, He's the one, the architect of your of your of your mansion in heaven. He knows all these things. He knows all these things. How is He going to stop you for you and I not to go to that heaven and enjoy the goodness of God? Is to use somebody that is open for him to cause you an offense. So now when you do now accept offense, somebody hurt you, somebody says something that makes you to be offended. Now you are bitter. Now you, 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 you are keeping malice. Ah, you have opened the door for the enemy. You know all those things, that those malice, those anger, those offense, you know, none of them will inherit the kingdom of God. The enemy of your soul knows. Because if you have this thing, those are the property of the enemy. And if you have those things, you cannot, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. No. The person will not inherit the kingdom of God. That is what the enemy wants. He doesn't want you and I to go to heaven. It's you and I that will make up our mind say, you like it or not, my enemy, no matter who you will use, use my family, use my neighbor, use my co-worker, use anyone. I'm standing for Jesus. I'm not going to get, I'm not going to, to, to be annoyed. I know this is your tricks. You will not get me. 
by the grace of God. I thank God for the Holy Spirit. That is why Father God said to you and I, the word of the Lord said, if you and I walk in the spirit, we will not fulfill the loss of the flesh. So you and I must walk in the spirit every day, every day. Not just I walk in the spirit today, tomorrow I walk in the flesh. No, the enemy will defeat you. Because the flesh is his property. The flesh is the flesh that working for him. We must walk in the spirit. We are in a battle. We are in a battlefield. We are in a battlefield. Who, who is fighting in that battlefield? Who is the one that is in that battlefield? You and I, we are in the battlefield. Who is the one that the opponent that fighting the, in the, the battle? Jesus and the Satan. Who are they fighting for? For your soul. Jesus is fighting for your soul. Satan is fighting for your soul. It's you and I that is in the, in the battlefield now. And we, it's you and I that we decide who are we going to surrender to? Who are we going to let, let the, 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 the two of the, the two kings, whom the, the king of the, 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 the whole universe, the king of the, the heaven, the, your king, my king, and the king of this earth. Lord Jesus Christ called him the king of this earth. The two kings are fighting. For who? For your soul, for my soul. It's you and I that will decide who is going to who is going to have my, my soul. By you deciding, by me deciding not to give the, the hand the hand to the enemy. Surrender. Believe my Jesus. I live for Jesus. I love my enemy. I pray for my enemy. That is what Lord Jesus. When you and I doing that, we over we are overcoming the enemy every day. We should not take an offense. That offense, the end, that is why Lord Jesus Christ said, offense will come. He didn't tell you that offense will not come. Oh. He said, offense will come. Who unto the one that he came from? Not just only who unto the one that he came from, who unto the one that he take the offense? Because when you and I are, uh, are being offended, uh, when the trumpet will sound, uh, you will not go, now we not go. So you are, must not take an offense. The trap, the enemy just starting trap. One, one after another, one after another, one after another. May the Lord give you an idea grace to overcome every day. To overcome any, every day. We are in a battle. We are in a battle. That is why you and I, we should not play with our salvation. We should not play with you. You see your neighbor play. You see your co and your church members. They are playing with their salvation. That is their own. It, uh, so that the heavenly race is an individual race. It's an individual race. You fight for your own soul. I fight for my own soul. Because I'm not going to stand for your own judgment, daddy. God will not judge me, say, oh, he will not uh, judge me because of you. He said, ah, you didn't do this, or did you not? No, he will judge me for my own deed. So you are, that he will judge you for your own, not somebody else's own. May the Lord give you an idea grace. You heard what the servant of God said. We thank God for this message. For you and I to watch at every day, every day, not just only yesterday, today, I, I live a careless life. As a Christian, we don't, we must not live a careless life. The enemy is looking for just a little hole, a little, it's not looking for big open door. No, mm, no, just a little hole. Any little hole he found in you, found in me, it will push through. It will push to, to bring destruction. May the Lord help you and I. We bless the name of the Lord for this message. Wherever you are right now, you are crying, why, 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 why me? This thing is happened to me. Why me? And that this thing, just know you are precious. You are precious. The mark of Jesus Christ is upon you. You are, the light of Jesus Christ is upon you. When the light comes in the darkness, the darkness disappears. That is why they hate you. But the, the dark people hate you because of the light. We expose them. They, they don't want to be exposed. 
But the moment you are there, the light that is in you, we expose their darkness. May the Lord help us. May the Lord help us. Pray. We thank God for that. So we are going to right now pray for ourselves. Let us pray for ourselves. Let us ask God Almighty to give us the wisdom to help us to be wise in this end time. Father, give me the grace to be wise in this end time. When the enemy bringing his, his strategies, Father, give me the grace to be wise, to reject every, every, every offense, everything that the enemy wants to use to stop me, not to make a move. Father, give me the grace, make me to be wise. Let us pray. Oh Lord, my Father, oh Lord, my God, Father, we thank you for this message, Almighty God. Father, so we thank you, oh Lord, my God, Almighty God, we give you all the glory, all the honor, all the praise. Father, give us the grace to Almighty God to be wise in this end time, our Father. Help us to be wise, O Lord. Help us to know the work of the enemies. Help us to know the work of the flesh, not to surrender to the flesh. Help us to walk in the spirit, O Lord. Father, as you said, if we walk in the flesh, we, if we walk in the spirit, we will not fulfill the loss of the flesh. O Lord Jesus, help us. O Lord Jesus, we need your grace, O Lord. We need your grace, O Lord. We need your grace, O Lord. Help us, O Lord. And in the name of in this Christian race, Father, there is war. Father, there is war. Help us to stand to the end, O oh Lord. Help us to follow you to the end. Help us to hold on to you, Father. Wash us, O oh Lord. Cleanse us, O oh Lord. Give us a pure heart, O oh Lord. A pure heart, O oh Lord, to follow to the end. Father, help us to fear you with the fear of reverence, O oh Lord. Help us to obey you, not to obey the flesh, not to obey the, our enemy. Father, we ask you, Father, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Jesus, amen. Amen. So let us pray for the servant of God, whom God has used to be a blessing to us, for more anointing, for more power to continue declaring the gospel of Christ. For God to protect her, protect her, protect her family in the name of God. The virtue that went out of her, for God to replenish us, for God to bless her in return in Jesus' name. Let us pray for the servants of God. Oh Lord, my Father, oh Lord, my God, we thank you for your servants, my Father, Almighty God. We are so grateful, we are so thankful. Thank you for using her, Lord, to be a blessing to us. Thank you for using her to open our eyes. Oh Lord, my Father, for us to be careful, for us to be wise, Almighty God. Oh Lord, we are grateful, we are thankful, Lord. Father, as you use that to be a blessing to us, Father, we ask you to bless her in return in the name of Joshua. Oh Lord, my Father, we ask you, Father, to protect her, protect her family, any power, any spirit, any personality that want to attack her, that want to attack her because of this message. Father, let your spirit raise a standard against those powers in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, every virtue that went out of your daughter, Father, we ask you to replenish unto her in the name of Jesus Christ. Continue anointing her more and more. Continue using her more and more. Father, the day you will call her home, Father, don't let any stain stand on, on her way. Any stumbling block. We not stand on our way in the name of Jesus Christ. Be with her, her Lord. Strengthen her, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever the arrows, whatever the traps of the enemy setting on our way, Father, give her the grace to overcome in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we give you the glory. We give you the honor. We give you the praise. We thank you once again, Almighty God, for using her to be a blessing to the body of Christ, O oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank God. What a message. Oh, may the Lord bless you, woman of God, in Jesus' name. So I'm going to call upon the our evangelist, evangelist John, for the contribution. May the Lord bless you. Hallelujah. God bless you, my sister. Thank God for this message. May God continue to fill you in the mighty Ma, we are not hearing you. Here. It's so low. Can you hear me now? Okay. Yeah. We thank God for this message. May God continue to refill you, woman of God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We are now going to go for our contribution. We are talking about our tithe and offering. Amen. May as a, we do it for to fulfill uh, all uh, the promises of God, the thing that we have to do. We we'll go to our tithe and our offering. Our tithe is a 10% of our income or our profit. And the offering is as God leads you. May we do so in the name of Jesus. Therefore, as I will be singing this song, you will be looking for your preparing your tithe, your offering in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Today, oh, I will lift up my voice in praise. Today, oh, I will lift up my voice in praise. 
for all I know. You are always there for me. Almighty God, you are my all and all. No matter what we face, when success comes our life, we will praise the Lord. Today and not tomorrow, today, oh, I will lift up my voice in praise. To don't know tomorrow, today, oh, I will lift up my voice in praise. For all I know, you are always there for me. Almighty God, Almighty God, you are our all and all. No matter what we face, when success come our life, we will praise your name. Father, we want to thank you for our offering. We thank you for this time. We thank you for the opportunity given unto us. We present our offering and tie to you, Lord. We pray, O oh Lord God Almighty, that may you bless and multiply it in the name of Jesus. Father, as you're doing the work of your hearts, Father, remember you are children. Lord, for those that have nothing to give today, Father, bless them, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. As you are blessing others, bless them, Almighty Father, in the name of Jesus. We we'll cover our tithe and offering with the precious blood of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Redeemer. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you, man. In Jesus' name, we bless the name of the Lord. Our God is good. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you. Man. Mm. So our weekly announcements, uh, Mondays, uh, Tuesdays, and uh, Thursdays at uh, 1, uh, 1 p.m. London time, uh, pray with us, Susan. Please, if you have time to join us, please do so in Jesus' name. Tuesdays and uh, Thursdays at a uh, midnight London, London time, midnight prayers. Please, if you have time, please do, still do so in Jesus' name. Godly children in Christ. And uh, Saturday, we have children programs. So, Father, uh, uh, children program on Saturday, Saturday at uh, 6 p.m. London time. Please, if you have children, bring them, let them come and learn the word of the Lord. And God will reward you for it in Jesus' name. According to the word of the Lord in the book of Proverbs 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 22, 22, verse 6. Hallelujah. Mondays, the Bible studied uh, twice in the month and uh, at uh, 8 uh, p.m. London time. Please join us. Let us hear the word of the Lord. Let us study the word of the Lord. Because when you are now, we are studying the word that we understand. When the enemy wants to attack you, attack me, we know the word of the Lord to able to raise against, uh, against him. The word of the Lord is a sword. A sword to, to, to our enemy, the word of the Lord. Let us come together and, and study the word of the Lord. It will do you good. It will do me good. So we still have uh, another program, and we still have another program, virtual summer time, twice in a month on uh, Mondays at uh, 8 p.m. London time. Please join us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You can get to, if you join us, you can get to ask questions or contribute. If you feel uh, anything God put in your hand, the Spirit of God put in your heart to contribute, you can contribute. May the Lord bless you. So weekly uh, night uh, VJ, uh, every Fridays at uh, 11, p 11 p.m. London time, please uh, join us uh, this week. By the grace of God, Amen. Every then the first Sunday of each and the month, a Holy Communion. And the next month is coming by the grace of God, the month of August. Please prepare to join us in Jesus' name. As Father Lord Jesus Christ said, "You and I we should do it in remembrance of Him." So uh, every uh, first uh, week of uh, the month, uh, we uh, have a fasting and a prayer to uh, dedicate the month into God's hand. Please join us as we will dedicate the month into God's hands. Next month, help and join us in Jesus' name. Amen. May the Lord bless you. This is um this is our weekly announcement today. So I'm going to call upon the woman of God for the benediction. Evangelist Marie, may the Lord bless you, man. <clears throat> Amen. Let us pray. Father, Lord, we thank you, O oh Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you for your love upon us. Father, for your mercy, O oh Lord, Father, that endures forever. Father, you say, O oh Lord, Father, you, it's not your will, O oh Lord, Father, for us to perish. You want us to come into the knowledge of 
of your world, O Lord, Father, so that we can repent from our sin. Father, have mercy, O Lord, Father. Anyway, we focus on the wrong enemy without discerning the real enemy that we're supposed to be fighting every day. Father, we pray, O Lord, Father, that you give us the grace, O Lord, Father, to kill the flesh every day. Because whatever the flesh is doing, is promoting the work of the enemy in our life. Father, we don't want it, O Lord, Father, give us the grace, O Lord, Father, to overcome the flesh. As you did it to yourself, and O Lord, Father, also do it to us in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we cry for your mercy. We cry for your grace, O Lord, Father, to overcome every work of the flesh that is still having dominion over our life. Father, please our heart, O Lord, Father, from every root of bitterness, every spirit of anger, every spirit of jealousy, every covetousness, every pride that is making us, O Lord, Father, not to repent, not to even turn away from sin, or not to forgive others. Father, deliver us from it in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, any property of the enemy that is still having dominion over us, Father, operate it, O Lord, Father, take it away in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, open our eyes, O Lord, Father, to see it so we can repent from it and be free from it in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, deliver our soul. Father, deliver us, O Lord, Father, every moment, every second, we cry unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. We cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. Father, are we Hear your word, O Lord. Father, let all, always remembering your word, O Lord, Father, so that we not fall in the trap of the enemy. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. As we come to the end, let us share the grace and fellowship together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus. May the grace of our Lord Jesus rise the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now forever and never. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy of the Lord shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall do in the house of the Lord forever and never. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy of the Lord shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall do in the house of the Lord forever and never. Amen. Few seconds silence, please. Amen. May the Lord bless you all. Shalom.